All right, guys, thanks for uh, tuning in. Uh, just real quick, man, I just want to show you guys that I'm about to change out the um, derby cover on my bike. Uh, so what we're doing is replacing this derby cover here with the new Arlen Nest uh, cover that matches the rest of my pieces here on the bike. So um, just real quick video to show you guys just how you take this thing off. Don't be scared to do it, it's not hard to do. Um, that thing for me is uh, just go ahead and remove your uh, passenger footboard right here. Go ahead and get your screws loose on your derby cover. And don't worry about uh, oil leaking out of this. You shouldn't have anything dripping out. Um, if it's over full, then it will leak out. So that way, you know if it's over full if, if you see anything coming out of here. So. Um, don't be scared to try this yourself, man. You don't need you know, a mechanic and you can do this yourself. I'm just an average guy trying to work on my bike and I don't mind trying to do stuff myself. So, um, so again, I already got these bolts on, I got one left and I'm just gonna pull this off here. So you get your floorboard off. Okay, so we got the floorboard off, your passenger floorboard. And here you got your derby cover. I already got the screws out. I got one screw left, so I'm gonna take this screw out right here. And if you wanna know what type of bit I'm using, I'm using the Torx. T27, so a Torx T27 bit to take the screws out of your derby cover. And that's pretty standard on, I think, on most of the bikes. So uh, it's a 2012, but I know it's gonna work on most of the bikes. So you see here, you got the derby cover off. Here's your clutch plate. You have oil inside here, so there is oil in here. And you should be changing this. I change it myself. There's a drain plug right here, so you can just unscrew this plug, drain your fluid out. You wanna have this off before you drain it. You know what I mean? It's real simple, drain it, fill it back up, put your derby cover gasket back on, and um, put your cover on and tighten it back up. Always wanna use Loctite on your screws, so whenever you're uh, working on these bikes, you wanna use Loctite when you're putting screws and bolts and nuts back in on the motorcycle. So um, basically, that's all we got here. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and reuse this because it's brand new, I just bought it. So if not, if you haven't replaced this, go ahead and replace it. You know, if you're changing your oil, I recommend at least 8,000 to 10,000 miles replace your uh, fluid, primary, uh, primary fluid, and replace your gasket, okay? So only one way it goes on, this side towards your clutch, this side be black. So all you wanna do is you just line this up right here, just line it up. So we're gonna get the, uh... so we got the new derby cover. We got the gasket. So remember you want this side facing in and your cover's gonna go on the opposite side. So I'm just gonna line this up. I want the Arlen Ness emblem right here reading on the bottom. And we're just gonna spin this around till the holes, till we see these holes line up, okay? Boom, holes are lined up at the cover here. Sometimes this is gonna slide around because you do have oil on it. So just kind of get it on there. And it's got an eye. But it's pretty simple. Just, you know, line the holes up and you'll be okay. Okay. <clears throat> now I do have new screws that did come with the uh, new derby cover. So I'm not gonna use the old screws. I'm gonna take these old ones out, put the new ones in. And before I do, I'm gonna put some Loctite on my torque screws. And all you need is just, you know, you just need a, a drip on here. You don't need a lot, just put a little drop on here. And here's my torque bit wrench. Get, get everything ready. And we're gonna put this on. As you see, 
See, I can put that on by hand. Now, because I am changing the screws, the uh, size of my wrench is a little different. So we're gonna try a different size Torx bit and boom. So now we're going down to a T25 for the new screws. So a T25 on the new screws. And that's it. And you just want to line this up, line it up, and uh, put all the rest of the uh, screws in, and uh, you should be good to go. So, like I say, I'm gonna just put a dab of uh, Loctite on each screw. Not hard, guys. Don't be scared to work on your own bike. I'm not scared. If I can't figure it out, I'll just take it to the shop. No problem taking it to the shop. So, but you know, try it yourself. You might you might surprise yourself. You know, might surprise yourself. So, like I said, I'm just putting Loctite and all these bolts back in. One more, there's five bolts. Putting the last one on here. And guys, remember, tighten counterclockwise. Just like if you're changing your spare tire in your car, you want to do like a star, star. So you don't want to uh, just go around and tighten. You want to do a pattern, star pattern is what I normally do. Um, I don't tighten them all. I just kind of get them all in there. Just get them all in there before you start tightening everything up. Just kind of get them all in there. Just, you know, just get them, you know, snug in there. You don't got to torque them down. I'm no mechanic. All I know is I got them in there snug, and then I'm gonna go around and just kind of tighten them again, and um, we should be good to go. So a little right there, just kind of snug them. We should be all okay. There you have it. The recovery replace matches the flow theme that I got going on. Here's the RLNS floorboards, and uh, we're just gonna mount this back on, mount the uh, passenger footboard back on, and that's a wrap. So uh, I'll just screw this on here real quick. Got the screws on, there's one here, one on the bottom, and basically, you know, that's what you're looking at. So. You know, I'm going to tighten that up, but just to give you an idea. Okay, so changing out your derby cover. Do it yourself. It's very simple. Uh, I did it. Anybody can do it. And, uh, you know, ride the bike, you know, after a few days or whatever, just check your bolts. Just recheck them. Make sure they're snug and tight, and you should be all right. All right, man. Thanks again for tuning in. Um, I keep you posted on, you know, little things I do to the bike, along with this bike, my other bike. Um... So, you know, thanks for watching.